Hi, welcome to Ashok Kumar channel physics. Sir. So today's class is force experienced by a current carrying wire. So is it uh, true? Current carrying wire force experience just now. So if it experiences the force, how can you give the force on your wire? So wire force ela experience just now. Your is the wire ki force. So if wire experience force, so wire force experience just the move out. Compulsory kada. If you apply force on the object. Object is going to move. Wire is going to move. Wire experience the force. So this is a somewhat interesting. Wire force ela experience just to. Okay. So in order to experience the force on a wire, so you need to place a current carrying wire in a in an uniform magnetic field. In an uniform magnetic field. So that means uh, already if there is a uniform magnetic field is created, suppose that. Uh, so uniform magnetic field ela create just now by using a permanent magnet or by using a already we said there is a uh, simple way which is uh, by using the solenoid so if you use the solenoid you can make a uniform magnetic field or else uh, by placing two permanent magnets two permanent magnets man ikkada place chesi you can create a uniform magnetic field here ikkada oka uniform magnetic field create cheyachu ledante by using the coils here so here there is a coil and if there is a coil here so two coils are facing each other rend coils oka dan oka deface chestu untai so it creates a north pole so by supplying the current in a specific direction we can create a north pole here and you can create a south pole here so by giving the correction by giving the current in a specific direction so if there is a north pole and a south pole then the direction of the magnetic field then there is a creation of the magnetic field between these two or any two madhi lo oka magnetic field create ay untundi so magnetic field create avutundo ani ela cheptam mana kanapadadu kan magnetic field create ayyindo ani ela cheppadadu if you place a magnetic compass here magnetic compass place chesthe then the needle is going to affect between if you place a magnetic compass in between these two then needle in a magnetic compass is going to affect ela effect avutundi north pole of the that means north pole of the magnetic compass is going to repel north ela repel avutundi and here is the south pole south is going to attract towards the north and the north is going to attract towards the south and a in which direction the magnetic compass needle is deflected that is the direction of the magnetic compass magnetic field magnetic field direction ila teesukuntam so this is the direction of the magnetic field we will take from north to south by placing two permanent magnets or else uh, you can create a magnetic field by using by by using the coils సో కాయిల్స్ లో కరెంట్ పంపించేస్తే ఇక్కడ ఒక మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ డెవలప్ అవుతుంది సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఎ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఈజ్ అ డెవలప్డ్ విచ్ ఇస్ నార్త్ పోల్ సో ఎలా క్రియేట్ చేస్తాం నార్త్ పోల్ బై గివింగ్ ద కరెంట్ ఇన్ యాంటీ క్లాక్ వైజ్ డైరెక్షన్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ గివ్ ద కరెంట్ ఇన్ ద క్లాక్ వైజ్ డైరెక్షన్ దెన్ యూ కెన్ క్రియేట్ ఎ సౌత్ పోల్ దేర్ దెన్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఎ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ బిట్వీన్ దీస్ టూ కాయిల్స్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఉందని ఎలా చెప్తాం మనం అగైన్ యూ నీడ్ టు ప్లేస్ ఎ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ కంపాస్ కంపాస్ దెన్ నీడిల్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు డిఫ్లెక్ట్ in this direction then there is a magnetic field is there ani manaku telustundi ela telustundi ante by placing a magnetic compass magnetic compass petesthe saripothundi which shows the magnetic field is there okay this is how you are going to create a magnetic field either by using permanent magnets or by using the coils circular coils okay so already likewise ఒక మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ నేను క్రియేట్ చేసి పెట్టాను ఆల్రెడీ సో మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ కెన్ బి క్రియేటెడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ డైరెక్షన్ ఆర్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ కెన్ బి క్రియేటెడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ డైరెక్షన్ ఆర్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ కెన్ బి క్రియేటెడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ డైరెక్షన్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ద డౌన్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ ఆర్ ఇన్ టు ద బోర్డ్ ఆర్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద బోర్డ్ ఏదర్ వే ఐ కెన్ క్రియేట్ ద మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఏ డైరెక్షన్ లో అయినా క్రియేట్ చేయొచ్చు మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఓకే సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ దేర్ ఈస్ అ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఈస్ క్రియేటెడ్ నేను ఒక మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ క్రియేట్ చేస్తున్నాను ఇక్కడ ఒక నార్త్ పోల్ అండ్ ఇక్కడ ఒక సౌత్ పోల్ దెన్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎలా ఉంటుంది ఈ డైరెక్షన్ లో ఉంటుంది సో దట్ మీన్స్ ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఈస్ అ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ విచ్ ఈస్ క్రియేటెడ్ ఇన్ టు ద బోర్డ్ బోర్డు లోపలికి వెళ్తుందని తీసుకుంటున్నాను మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఈ డైరెక్షన్ లో ఉందని తీసుకుంటున్నాను 
Suppose if there is a magnetic field, which is a uniform magnetic field is created, the direction of the magnetic field is, these symbols we will call them as into. With them and them, into and together. So that means magnetic field is in the direction that is into the board. So this is the direction of the magnetic field. Magnetic field into the board. So then, so now. Suppose that if there is a current carrying wire, if there is a current carrying wire is placed in a uniform magnetic field. The current carrying wire, no, okay, uniform magnetic field will place just there. Okay. So then it experiences a force. Apur matra me force experience just to me. Uniform magnetic field lo le kunda. Just the current carrying wire, no, ila place just there. If current carrying wire is like this, so around this there is no uniform magnetic field. E by two to a uniform magnetic field level. It can force experience just to me. It can experience shed. So there must be a magnetic field surrounded by the wire. Wire two to a magnetic field create a level. So then it experiences a force. It force force vector का बटी. What is the direction of the force? You need to find out. So in the force experience just to me. We have a formula. How much of the force is experienced by this wire, which is placed in a uniform magnetic field? That is. F is equal to B I L sin theta. This is the magnitude of the force. In the force experiences, so that is force. If in the force experiences, so that is the then we are depend on the the magnetic field, the amount of magnetic field you are giving. That is B and how much of current is passing through the conductor I and the length of conductor. As the length of conductor increases, then force experienced by that conductor also increases. And the angle between this B bar and wire, length of wire. So angle between B bar, B, here B is a vector of physical quantity, and the length of the wire is also vector of physical quantity. So then, in a vector form, you can write this one as F bar is equal to I is a scalar. I is always scalar. Then you can write this one as a B bar cross L bar, where B bar cross L bar is nothing but B L sin theta. A bar cross B bar is A B sin theta, or you can write B bar cross L bar is equal to B L sin theta. So from this one, you can say cross product of two vectors. इधि x direction लो उन्हें अंतिस कोण रूप में B bar इधि y direction लो उन्हें अंतिस कोण टे L bar. So these are having directions. इधि x इधि y direction अंतिस कोण टे cross product result लालोस तो नहीं. Already we know. Cross product result is always perpendicular to both of these. ये रेंडी ठीक है perpendicular लोस तुमने। अंडे B bar वो कमेल है A direction लो उन्हें मिको B bar इकड़ा B bar is into the board. B bar इलाउंड into the board and length of the wire is in this direction. So B bar is into the board and length of the wire is in this direction. Then how do you get the force? The resultant of this cross product you are going to get perpendicular to both of them. So B bar is in this direction, L bar is in this direction. Here and it is perpendicular. You will get either in the upward direction or in the downward direction. Okay. And a mood perpendicular. Suppose if this is L bar. So that means this current length is in this direction. Length direction long length is going to now. And B bar is into the board, into the board मरन चुकी चलें कबड़े इला चुकी इसको ना। B bar is into the board and next step, how it experiences the force? इधे इला experience है तुमने डे इधे मो जेड डायरेक्शन into the board and this length is along the x-axis, then force experience it must be in the y-axis. जेड के x के perpendicular है उन तुमने डे y, y is perpendicular to both x and z. So then a force experienced by the wire it must be in the y direction. In the y direction means either it is going to in the upward direction or it is going to in the downward direction. So y direction and pi ke velochu le dante kindi ke raochu. So then force experienced by the wire either it is in the upward direction or in the downward direction. Compulsory force mani ki y direction lo aite ostu de negative negative y direction lo ostu na positive y direction lo ostu na ani na ki mana ko ka simple rule unde which is Fleming's left hand rule. So by using the Fleming's left hand rule, what is the Fleming's left hand rule is Fleming's left hand rule then go into chapter 9, force A direction lo ostu me. 
ఫ్లెమింగ్స్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ రూల్ దేనికోసం మనకు డైరెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్స్ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయడానికి సో ఈ వైర్ ఫోర్స్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ చేస్తుంది యూనిఫామ్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ లో ప్లేస్ చేస్తే ఇది ఏ డైరెక్షన్ లో ఫోర్స్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ చేస్తుంది ఎంత ఫోర్స్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ చేస్తుంది అంటే ఆల్రెడీ మనకు ఉంది ఫార్ములా ఏ డైరెక్షన్ లో ఫోర్స్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ చేస్తుంది అంటే దెన్ యూ నీడ్ టు యూస్ ద ఫ్లెమింగ్స్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ రూల్ సో ఫ్లెమింగ్స్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ రూల్ వాట్ ఫ్లెమింగ్స్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ రూల్ ఈస్ సేయింగ్ స్ట్రెచ్ ద త్రీ ఫింగర్స్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ నాట్ యువర్ రైట్ హ్యాండ్ యువర్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ స్ట్రెచ్ ద త్రీ ఫింగర్స్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ సచ్ దట్ దోస్ త్రీ ఫింగర్స్ మస్ట్ బి పర్పెండిక్యులర్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఎక్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ జెడ్ అండ్ దిస్ వన్ ఈజ్ వై స్ట్రెచ్ ద త్రీ ఫింగర్స్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ లెఫ్ట్ హ్యాండ్ సచ్ దట్ దే షుడ్ బి పర్పెండిక్యులర్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ and remember one thing this thumb this thumb is always showing the force thumb direction em cheptundi meeku force a direction lo experience chestundi why na kuda adhe kada kavalsindi so force magnitude telusu now i need to find out the direction of the force experienced by the wire by using the fleming's left hand rule this thumb has to give the direction of the force thumb eppudu meeku em istundante direction of the force istundi and what it is this one is the direction of the magnetic field so which is uh, four four finger u u u this is the four finger so that means uh, this gives the direction of the magnetic field is the direction of the magnetic field is the direction of the magnetic field elandi which is into the board so that means uh, the direction of the magnetic field is like this into the board and this middle finger shows the direction of the current the current elandi manaki elandi so four finger has to shows the direction of the magnetic field these are fixed ivi fixed so four finger em chupichal meeku direction of the magnetic field ikkada magnetic field ela undi which is into the board and current direction is shown by the middle finger current direction shown by the middle finger which is in this direction then thumb thumb ela lift chestam mana ela then it experience the force in the upward direction thumb is showing the upward direction then this wire experience the force in the upward direction ee wire force ela experience chestundi meeku upward direction lo experience chest okay suppose if current get reverse what happens to if current get reverse if current is in this direction so in this case current is in the forward direction if current is get reverse in this direction by using the fleming's left hand rule stretch the three fingers of your left hand stretch this four finger has to shows the direction of the magnetic field four finger in chupichal meeku magnetic field a direction lo undo adi chupichal now this is the direction of the magnetic field now current if current is get reverse current e direction lo unde ante current e direction lo chupichal ipudu current ila vachindante current e direction lo velutunnadu kaani nenu em chestunnanu ikkada current no reverse direction రివర్స్ డైరెక్షన్ తీసుకుంటే ఎలా తీసుకుంటాం మనం యూ కెన్ టేక్ లైక్ దిస్ నౌ దిస్ ఈస్ ద డైరెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ద మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఇన్ టు ద బోర్డ్ నౌ ఇఫ్ కరెంట్ గెట్ రివర్స్ కరెంట్ ఇలా ఉంటే దెన్ ఫింగర్ థంబ్ ఎలా వస్తుంది మీకు ఇన్ ద డౌన్ వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ దెన్ ఫోర్స్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్డ్ బై ద వైర్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద డౌన్ వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ కీప్ ద మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ కాన్స్టెంట్ ఇఫ్ యూ రివర్స్ ద డైరెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ద కరెంట్ then force experienced by the wire also get reverse so previously if current is in this direction force experienced by the wire is in the upward direction if current is in the reverse direction if current ila vastunde then direction of the force experienced by the wire current is in this direction magnetic field must be current current is in this direction magnetic field is into the board then force experienced by the wire is in the downward direction okay so this is how we are going to find out the direction of the force by using the fleming's left hand rule not right hand rule so their right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule deniki use chesam manam magnetic field direction kanukodaniki fleming's left hand rule deniki use chestunnam force kanukodaniki force experienced by the wire wire eppudu force experience chestundante when current carrying wire is placed in a uniform magnetic field అండ్ ఫోర్స్ దేని మీద డిపెండ్ అవుతుంది అంటే మీరు ఎంత మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ అప్లై చేస్తున్నారు వాట్ ఈస్ ద స్ట్రెంత్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎంత కరెంట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద స్ట్రెంత్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రిక్ కరెంట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద లెంత్ ఆఫ్ వైర్ 
So if you increase them, then automatically force experienced by the wire also increases. Suppose uh, if magnetic field is uh, just we will practice one or two cases so that uh, you will get uh, a clear idea about the direction of the force. Now magnetic field here is into the board. If magnetic field is uh, out of the board, bite goes to the board and bite key. Bite goes to the ela to the ela to the so if you write like this, this is said to be out of the board. Arrow is coming in this direction. That arrow point we will see here, out of the board. If magnetic field is coming out of the board, so this is the magnetic field which is coming out of the board. And if the Current carrying wire is the same as the previous case. Ilage on the current carrying wire. That means current is in the same direction as the previous case. So previous case lo current direction along the upper current direction along the this one. Then force experienced by the wire. Ikada could have upward direction experience just now. No. Uh, because magnetic field direction get reversed. Magnetic field direction ikada into the board on the ikada lost on the magnetic field direction out of the board. Then force experienced by the wire. Then use the Fleming's left hand rule. First, you need to show your forefinger. You need to show your forefinger. So then forefinger has to show us the direction of magnetic field. Magnetic field along the out of the board. This is the direction of magnetic field by coaches to me. Okay, this is the magnetic field. So this is the left hand. Okay, this is the left hand. So this is the direction of the magnetic field and the current is in this direction. In middle finger out of the Magnetic field is on the current is in this direction. Then force experienced by the wire is in the downward direction. Now this wire is going to experience the force in the downward direction. Even though current is same, current direction is same. As the magnetic field get reversed, the force experienced by the wire also get reversed. Okay, suppose the in this case, uh, if uh, direction of current get reverse, direction of current reverse it, then a direction will experience shows on the force. So this forefinger has to show the direction of the magnetic field. If current get direction get reverse means current allows to This is the direction of the current, then thumb indicates in the upward direction. That means force experienced in the upward direction. Okay. Suppose one more uh, example we will take. If a field is in this direction, field E direction, now I can show like this one. Now the magnetic field is in this direction. This is said to be into the board. This is out of the board. Now magnetic field is in this direction. I can draw on the board. If you draw Chalan Kavati, symbols this one into the board, out of the board. Into the board, in line draw Chalan. Out of the board, line will draw Chalan. But I can draw this one. Magnetic field is on the board. E level to the magnetic field. Then, if a current carrying wire is placed here, if you place a current carrying wire and the direction of the current is in the upward direction, direction of current upward direction long day, then in which direction it experiences the force? So, first, first, mirror, four finger, four finger to start change. Four finger has to show the direction of the magnetic field. Magnetic field is in this direction. So, this is the magnetic field. Four finger has to show the, this is the magnetic field. Then direction of the current. The Dire direction of the current is in the upward direction. Upward direction is the same way. Magnetic field is the same way. Direction of the current is in the upward direction. Middle finger has to show the direction of the current. Then thumb. Thumb is also the perpendicular. So that means into the board. So this is how. Magnetic field is in this direction. Current is in the upward direction. Then thumb. Thumb is into the board. So then it, it experiences the force which is into the board. Board local experience to the force and the wire level to the board local okay. If direction of current get reverse, if current is in the downward direction, current to downward direction and the magnetic field is the first one main job is the magnetic field which is the convenient method. First give, give the direction of magnetic field, then direction of current. Current along the magnetic downward direction. Current is in the downward direction, then force experienced by the wire is in this direction. And the wire experience shows chest on the force bite goes down wire money key bite goes chest okay so this is how you can find out the direction of the force on a current carrying conductor 
So force expert, a put experience is only why rather when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field. Okay. Can you make this wire rotate? Actually, I got a force is a linear force. So wire na yalla pushes only only in the linear direction in a straight wire. In a straight line direction, either it push in the upward direction in a straight line, or either it push in the downward direction in a straight line, or either it push in this direction, or either it push in this direction, or into the board or out of the board, always in a straight line. Straight line lobo. Use straight line lobo pushes to the force. But what about can you make this wire rotate? In this case, lo same. Ilage magnetic field apply chesi wire nu manam rotate cheyachu. Yes, I can make the wire rotate. Ela rotate just that. Okay, before going to that rotation, what what if man ka already okay doubt hoche into sir, nino e case lo suppose in this case, ni ko okay doubt kora raha wale kena. If a magnetic field is in this direction, doubt sochte nahi man ki. Concept of physics. So, wire is in the place. Shahali, sir, you know, wire magnetic field direction lo kuda place. Shastan, I can place. I place. Shastan, sir, nice magnetic field direction lo place. Shastan, wire. Now, I am placing the wire like this. I will place. Now, this is the force experience. In this direction, lo experience on the force. It does not experience the force. Why? Because we have, we have the formula which is F bar. Is equal to R F is equal to B I L sine theta, where theta is the angle between magnetic field and the length of the wire. Theta is the angle between magnetic field and length of wire. So magnetic field along the E direction along the and the length kuda ida on the. Then angle between them is zero. So then sine zero is zero. Then force experienced by the wire is zero. It experiences a minimum force. So, if you minimum force experience, if a wire is parallel to the magnetic field, if a wire is parallel to the magnetic field, actually, if it is into the board, it is placing like this, which is perpendicular, perpendicular to magnetic field. So, if a magnetic field is out of the board, and we are placing like this, which is perpendicular. If magnetic field is like this, and wire is in the y direction, which is perpendicular. Always we are placing the wire perpendicular, then it experiences a maximum force. Sin 90, which is the maximum value, which is the one. Then it experiences a maximum force when current carrying wire and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other. What if if they are par parallel? Magnetic field and current carrying wire both are parallel. If they are parallel, then the angle between them is zero. If the angle between them is zero, then force experienced by the wire is zero. Then that means Wire does not experience any force if it is placed parallel to the magnetic field direction. Okay. This is also you need to remember. Now coming to the previous one, what I said, can I can you make uh, this uh, wire get rotated? E wire no need rotate Yes, I can make the wire to rotate. How? Take the case, just an example. This is the magnetic field direction. If I in the place of a straight conductor, if I if I take a rectangular wire, rectangular loop. So if a wire is like this, a rectangular wire is placed. If there is a rectangular wire is placed here, rectangular wire places stay. Then, well, how maybe uh, there is a current is passed here, current pass out on the So, I will connect uh, this one to a battery. If you connect this to a battery, then current is passed from positive terminal. And here the current is flown in this direction, here the current flows in this direction, here the current flows in this direction, and here the current flows in this direction. Okay. So if current is flown like this, and a current into the board will 
current is into the board so that means uh, this uh, rectangular coil is like this rectangular coil elon which is uh, into the board one minute so this is the magnetic field in this direction there is a magnetic field and if i place uh, plane of the coil like this so plane of the coil along the miku ila place chestunna now this wire e wire ela undi miku e e to side of wire this side of wire is perpendicular to magnetic field wire is in this direction this one this side is perpendicular to magnetic field magnetic field ela undi wire ela undi maniki perpendicular to magnetic magnetic field emo ila undi wire ela undi perpendicular to magnetic field so then it experience a force the force experience is when a wire is placed perpendicular to magnetic field then it experience a force so force experience is in the a direction experience is in the according to fleming's left hand rule fleming's left hand rule this one wire along the wire law current along the e direction which is into the board and the direction of the magnetic field is in this direction so the direction of magnetic field is in this direction and the current current into the board into the board means current into the board then force experienced by the coil which is in the downward direction force ela experience chestundi meeku downward direction lo experience chestundi and what about this one it then just the force it experience the force in the upward direction so here the current is out of the board current maniki ila vastundi baitiki current baitiki vastundi and magnetic field ela undi e direction lo undi then it experience a force current ela undi magnetic fields magnetic proof field is in the same direction then a force experienced by the wire is in the upward direction and then it emo downward experience is the force so this coil will experience the force in the downward direction it is downward direction experience is the and this coil will experience the force in the upward direction e coil is the force upward direction lo experience is the and these forces are in the different line of action of force so it emo pai kundi it emo kindi kundi so then they will get rotated rotate i think why because uh, if force is uh, applied here in the upward direction if force applied here is in the downward direction so ikkade mo force upward direction apply chesi ikkade mo force downward direction apply chesthe ide em avutundi rotate ayipothu you can make the coil rotate coil ni rotate cheyochu so ela straight wire nu badalu rectangular coil rectangular loop teeskunte then i can make the coil rotate so which is the working principle of electric motor electric motor based on this principle and electric motor lo manam rectangular coil teeskunta okay so that is said with the torque torque apply out so if for two forces equal and opposite forces are applied in a different line of action of force then it experience a torque torque always rotate the body torque eppudu maniki body ni rotate chestundi so here torque applied which can rotate the body okay so this is the concept this is the basic uh, explanation for the motor so in the next class we are going to explain the motor completely so completely explain cheyadam just nenu em cheyadam meeku motor working principle mathrame cheptunna so next class lo manam completely net cheskonam motor gurinchi okay thank you thank you for the this class hope you have understood this one okay bye